In this video, we're going to look at how you place supporting members and sources of loads on your foundation. I have a rectangular foundation slab drawn here, and we're going to look at the supports members section found on the foundation ribbon. First off, we can look at placing piles. To do that, we simply click on place piles and you notice my cursor is now changed to a pile cursor. And when I click my mouse, a pile will be placed at the location I clicked or the nearest grid point. For peers, we do a similar thing. Select place peers and click. And now I have created a couple of peers. For grade beams and walls, it's a slightly different process. We're going to drag our mouse to draw one. So if I select draw grade beams, I can hold down my mouse and you see as I drag it, a line appears and that will represent the position of the grade beam. Similar, similar things for the walls. I drag my mouse and now I get a wall. We have a couple specialty items as well regarding drawing walls. If I select draw rectangular walls, I can now drag my cursor and a box appears. And when I do that, then I create a wall group of four walls forming a rectangle shape. Similarly, I can draw a circular pattern of walls by dragging my mouse and you see I have a ring which consists of several walls in a section. In order to remove the drawing mode, I simply press the escape key and my cursor, as you see, comes back to an arrow. In order to work with these objects, I can simply click on them and if we go over to the inspector, we see the kind of pier in this case, it's square and 48 inches, I could actually change that to a different shape if I wanted. In order to select more than one of a given object, I can hold down my shift key and press and select one. And when I do that, all objects of that type will be shown. Similarly, if I select one of these piles, hold down my control key, I can go to a different pile and select it and it will get added to the group. Another thing I'd like to demonstrate is making copies. If I select one particular object, let's say this pier, I can now use my right mouse button and I have an option to generate copies. When I do that, I can now use a rectangular pattern of generation as well as a circular pattern, a mirror pattern, or a linear varying pattern. If I select a rectangular pattern, and let's say let's make two copies, in the X direction and let's set that X direction spacing to 24 inches and now I hit generate copies and when you do that you see I have now created copies of that particular peer. As well if I select the group of peers let's say these three and go to the structure tab up here I have the ability to rotate a model so let's go ahead and select rotate model and let's rotate this group by, let's say, only 10 degrees. And when I do that and select OK, and we're going to rotate them about column C002. We could specify a point as well. And when I do that, you see I've rotated the group by 10 degrees. 